there you go both sleeves done I don't know if I mentioned it but don't forget to do two sleeves uh, now thread your needle on one of your sleeves doesn't matter which one you're doing have the right side of your work facing you like I say if you want to put, sew the tails in now that's fine you do that um, try not to make it so it interferes with any of the edging when you sew it in or do as I'm doing and wait till the end and then you, I turn my garment inside out and then sew it in to start with what I do is because the long tail from the sleeve is going across and then going down the left hand side here I will go into the chain two from the back put the needle through I have done a video just recently about how I put sleeves in I'll leave a link below you can go and watch that or just carry on watching this now that's in the top of the chain two and I go back into this stitch I've just had the tail come from so that's the top of your stitch take your time with this don't pull too hard you don't want to pucker up all this work you've done it's a little bit fiddly if you can do it on a table like this it'd be better I do it on my knee and really I should do it on a table because it, it's a lot easier to see now what I do is I have two stitches per treble end or chain two and that's how I do it if you look on the chain two here it naturally has a hole at the top now in the base of it there is a hole natural there so I always use those natural holes for one of the stitches the other stitch I will go into the treble stitch from the back either side and for the chain two exactly the same go from the back up to the front so I won't say anything I'll just do what I normally do and you can see how I do it and if you have any questions just leave them below and I will definitely get back to you oh I know I said I wouldn't say anything but do, at this point as you're doing the stitches do about four stitches so that's two rows and then pull it tight snug but not too tight so it puckers up your work always go from the back so you're crisscrossing but you go in the back come out the front back out the front now I've done two rows and because it's the top I don't want to make this pucker in any way so I just gently pull it hold what you've already done under your thumb and finger and just gently pull you can see it tightening there you go and I do that all the way I do so much like I say two round two rows then hold the work I've already done and then just gently pull it another tip when you're going through the back of a stitch or the chain two try not to go through the yarn try not to go through the actual strand just go through the natural openings if you like like I've just done there you see I've just caught a tiny amount and sometimes that tiny amount can pull and pucker your work I 
hold your work if you don't want to do two rows just do one at a time pull it taut but not massively tight and just gently do it you can see it now one of the reasons is you don't want to overstretch your yarn anyway but the finer i found the finer the yarn you go one it can snap and you just don't want to because if you overstretch it what happens is it, it kind of sh you can see it it shines up but if you overstretch it when it comes to washing or washing over time it will break so you want it nice and snug but you don't want it pulled really tight so always put your thumb and finger and just pull gently and you can you can actually feel it before i'd i'd let go and just pull it and then it puckered up my work so then i'd have to tease it back out like this which you can do but prevention's better so i always pinch do so much and then just pull it and you can actually feel it in your fingers you can feel the tension and that's better than pulling too tight Oops, sorry about that. Another thing is, you know how the cardigan you want it to look. And you've had the same amount of rows, the front, back and the sleeve raglan here. You see how the line... The ridge matches going through and that's why you finish on the right kind of row to match the bodywork and the sleeve you can have a few more I've done this in the past and I struggled really struggled to try and if you had too many rows for this for the body too many rows on the sleeve to the body you then have to kind of squish them up to get them on anyway I've had a light bulb moment so if a pattern for me says it's a little bit more or, or less, either way, I will just adjust it because I don't like that look. I like it where this ridge from the treble, it would happen as well. You'd have a, you'd have a set pattern for any other stitch. I know if you're crocheting, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're new, it just and you see that nice continuous line all the way through your work. And that's why you don't want to pull it tight neither because you want it to sit nice anyway i'm going to go down to the bottom here you do the same i always as well the last stitch here i use that hole as well to match the other one just to give it extra, extra security you'll match the six under the arm on the sleeve to the six on here on the coat and again, go all the way to the top and not forgetting to do the top. And then I don't fasten off. I just pull my needle out and let it hang just like the rest of the uh, ends. And then I will do the button. When I've done both sleeves, I will do the button band uh, crochet across the top. So it looks really nice, fits snug. It's all in one line. And then I'll sew the ends in. Like I say, I sew my ends in at the end garment inside out and then just take my time watch a bit of telly or something and then you just slowly put your tails in because you don't want to undo all this work you've just done so yeah i'll put this first sleeve in and i'll come back there you go i've put the sleeve in you can see now the nice ridge line go running through there's the front there's the back and I've just left the tail hanging with the others make sure you go into the top stitch on the back and the chain two from the sleeve and I'll leave it like that and when I do the button band and I come whichever way it is I come around I make sure I go into the two chains as well as the stitch and it makes a nice finish I've already started the second one same principle obviously starting here i was at the front on the right side sorry the left side of the jacket I, the um, tail was at the front you finish at the back for the right hand sleeve you start on the back and you finish on the front 
like I say, if you fancy doing a plain v-neck cardigan for girl or boy, um, I'm going to leave a link below for the white cardigan I've done. Follow along that. It's really easy. It is just trebles. Apart from these double crochets well on the button band. But I've put some funky buttons on some of my cardigans as well. Anyway, I'm going to do my sleeve as the first one off camera. And then you're ready for the button band. I'll see you then. <laughs> 